Hi, welcome back. Today we will doing some sentiment analysis on elections 2024 and to see who is the winner of this game. So let's just get started. St started off, we will be using this page. I mean, not the top results because we can see a lot of Trump supporters uh, on this page. So to make it as objective as possible, I will be heading to this section, which is the latest tweets that includes Trump as a keyword in the context. So here's you can see, we have tons of different various tweets from the users that are just tweeting on Twitter. Okay, how I'm going to do, all right, I will be using my tool. I better say the tool because it's not a complete uh, entire system, uh, entire system of software, let's just say. So let's just continue with my tool, which is this. Here, as you can see, I do have some user inter. I do have a great user interface that is really basic and really under understandable for everyone who's using it. For example, let's just run it and then see. Here, as you can see, we have two options: Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, I will continue with the Twitter. And now, uh, we will be specifying total runtime for the tool. It will be running and scraping the tweets, also scrolling down to collect the tweets. So let's just make it 80 seconds, okay? Scroll interval, we have also a scroll interval that will be scrolling in, let's just say, in every five seconds, it will be scrolling down to collect the tweets. When it comes to URL, you need to specify this URL here. Let's just, just copy and paste it. And once you click that button here, start scraper. It'll be opening a new Chromium browser, here's you can see. All right, now we have the Chromium browser, which is automated Chrome. You can think of like uh, automated Chrome to do some automated actions. Okay, I'm good to go now. So I'm not doing anything manually, here as you can see, just collecting. It's now collecting the tweets. From the web page. Here's again, so I'm not touching anything, just drinking some iced tea. And it collects the data from the Trump search results, actually, from the latest tap of the search results. Here's you can see. And it's just scrolling down to collect the new tweets. Uh, once it's done, uh, we're collecting the tweets. Uh, we will be able to. Uh, chat with the tweets to ask anything about the tweets so which means we can do some sentiments analysis uh summarize all the tweets that we script and so on so i'm gonna pause it right now once it's done i will continue with the video all right as you can see here it says say tweets to csv uh, which means now we have the I don't think it's saving to CSV file, but it just gives us a text file that contains a lot of tweets that we collected, actually. Here, as you can see, we have tons of different tweets from other users, from different users. So whenever, we, whenever I click that button here, chat with data, let's just click that. Now it's a database is cre creating. Now I'm creating a vector database which allows me to chat with the data. I also like just retrieves the context that is related to my qu query because I will be inputting some queries to the data and it will be returning the related context, piece of context to my input. All right, now just creating the data. Here's you can see. Oh, my API key is out of date, I think. I will be fixing it and continue. Okay, I fixed it. So I also changed the model to GPT-4 Mini. What do they think about Trump? Submit it. There you go. Uh, opinions about Trump are mixed and largely negative. Okay, here's our sentiment analysis. Phrases like four years of, sh oh, of this shit show and Comments suggesting that Trump administration has shown ineptitude. What the hell does it indicate? Significant criticism. There, the references Trump supporters being compared to Nazis. Nazis. Oh, which also reflects a stroke. Negative sentiments. Yep. Okay. I think it's a great sign for the elections. Uh, let's just ask. 
summarize these to it. Mm. Problems and actions, infinite critique of behavior at rallies and interactions with various communities like Puerto Ricans, speculations on Trump's lead, etc. etc. Okay, that looks great. That looks uh, it looks like it's working. It's works like a charm. And you can actually scroll for like a longer time. Time intervals like I specify for for scrolling 80 time 80 seconds. You can specify up to like a hundred thousand. It's just up to you. And uh, you will be collecting a lot of data from Twitter and maybe creating some project that can relate it to uh, that can be similar to my tool here. You, know, you can use this to gather some data from Twitter and your project if you want. It's open source. You can find it on the link in the description below. Yeah, that was it. And yeah, that was it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.